Okay, so let's go ahead and go back and forth. Focused. The treat delivery speed could be a little faster, and that would be a flash lure. So as soon as she starts getting out of the way. Focused. Now again, pull it, pull your hands together when you pull it, when you go to focus. You kind of keep on putting your hand above where okay. your other hand is. All right, let's do the U-turn. So put the treat in front of her and lead her and try to do not pull it away so far away. Okay, go ahead and three steps back. Focus. Faster backwards. Good lure. Focus. Three more steps. Focus. But see how now she's starting to pay attention to you. She's sitting, she kind of knows what's expected from her and she's not bouncing around as much. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, basically the guardian doing the reverse sit uh, with the focus added onto it. But this is something you need to do. You really need to do this one every day, at least once a day. It'll take you like two or three minutes of time, mm -hmm. but make sure you're doing it every single day. When I take a day or two off with Max, I start noticing a difference in behavior and when we come back to it, he's not as good. Okay. Let's refocus her. Kiss, make a kiss. Now lure and move her around. There you go. You you pull it away pretty far. Try to keep there. That was oh, that was perfect. Focus. That one you kept it within a couple inches of her nose the whole time. So this reverse sit exercise is going to go a long ways towards just teaching her to do it. It's muscle memory. So mm -hmm. that's why the more you do it, the better she'll get. At. And again, I would do it here in your basement because it's nice and cool, but you're kind of limited in terms of space. Mm -hmm. But now we've kind of established it. Now you can start doing it in your backyard or in your upstairs where you, you know you have a little bit more space but the idea is don't do it outside with fireworks or there's kids mm -hmm. next door screaming or there's dog barking we want to keep it quiet the first couple of times after she's been doing it a while the whole point of doing this is to do this when there are rabbits nearby when there's squirrels nearby now if you're doing it where squirrels and rabbits are, let's put her back in front of you I'm on a tree. here you go <laughs> All right, now don't give it to her. Now let's say that there was another dog or squirrel or rabbit, something she's reacting to. You would want that item to be behind her and then you're gonna walk backwards away from it. So it's behind her back, she's not looking at it. That's the whole point of this is to mm -hmm. redirect her focus away from whatever she's distracted at and focus on you. And I love the way she's, you know, up until I just said I love, <laughs> she was looking right at me. So let's lure her again. Maya. Put, put your hands together and deliver. Focus. Excellent. Now, there might be times where you just sit here like I did at the beginning of the other video, focus, 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 just to get her staying with you. If she starts to get distracted, flash lure her or do a focus or just put the, you know, put the treat out there and then bring her attention back to you. All right, that's the uh, flash lure uh, reverse sit with the focus added on. That sounds like a cocktail. <laughs>